The green fill filter is used uh, in, in our patients prophylactically to prevent a blood clot that develops in the lower extremity or in the vena cava. So uh, in patients who are at high risk, uh, placement of the filter uh, is done preoperatively, usually a week or two before the surgery because we don't want to tie up the, uh, the OR putting in a filter when we need that operating time to be doing the surgeries. So we stagger the two procedures. Under uh, local anesthesia with sedation, we freeze the skin of the neck, anterior triangle, supraclavicular area, and through the transjugular approach, we, we place a guide wire down into the vena cava. And, and then we release what looks like, we tell our patients, looks like the birdie of a, of a badminton set. It's inverted, it's made out of titanium. It won't interfere with having a CAT scan or an MRI. And when we, we deliver the filter to the cava, there are little feet that attach to the wall. And then we, we release it and then pull back the guide wire so that the, the filter is now between the renal veins and the bifurcation of the vena cava. And that's a, that's a good spot to have. That uh, device will help protect the patient for life. Now, yes, so it's permanent. It's, it's permanent. And we are looking at filters that can be retrieved now. However, there are some folks who have a hypercoagulable state or they have a terrible venous stasis disease where the uh, endothelial lining of the veins uh, has been damaged uh, significantly, even though if they have weight loss and they're no longer morbidly obese, they're probably still at risk for developing a DVT. In those individuals, it's best to leave the, 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 the cave a filter long term. Uh, but then there are some folks who, who need the cave for protection just for the surgery. That's why we're looking at uh, a number of retrievable filters that, that, that can be placed and then can be removed anywhere from a month to, to a year after implantation.